Predicting future outcomes is a crucial element of financial planning and analytics. In this short video, I would like to demonstrate some fantastic new forecasting features in Excel. Forecasting can range from simple basic collection of future estimates to complex advanced analytics methods. Here I would like to cover how you can use the method of exponential smoothing, a comparatively simple forecasting method that is based on moving averages or historicals or weighted with less important than recent data points. I'm using Office 365 here. Alternatively, you can use Excel 2016, but older versions than this do not contain some of the required formulas we will be using. My starting point here is a pivot table. This is based on an, an Actaris data model, which gives me a few additional features, but the essence of the method described here will work in any table or pivot table. We have dates here in the rows and different scenarios at the top. So I can see here, this was the, those were the, the actual values over time. I've got all the features that I have in a pivot table. So I can, for example, decrease here the number of calendar years used so to, to start from where there's really only data. So let's make this starting point 2016, which again, really helps you also to have you know, a dynamic approach to this if you want to have longer or shorter uh, time periods or intervals to, to forecast. So but this is a good starting point for us. So we have no data here for two years. There's a bit of a seasonality here, which is, is um, a concept that is used in the exponential smoothing. And to do the forecast now, um, the starting point in my forecast column, I'll make that the same value as the actual here so that we don't have a, a gap in the forecasting line. So I'll just use here equal this. And obviously this is a functionality that requires Ectaris, so otherwise you couldn't write on a pivot table. Um, so this would be a normal table. So I have here then the initial starting point for the forecast. And then the only thing it takes is a function. And this function is called forecast ETS. And you can see here, the, the first element is the target date, which is the date here. But I have to be a bit careful here because this will not be determined as a date in Excel. So I have to convert this to a date value function. The second argument um, are the values. So the values are the, the values, um, historic data from two years before. Um, I'll make that an absolute reference. Uh, you can do this quickly by using F4. Then I have to specify the timeline. So again, I need to use a date value here to convert these dates, which Excel will not interpret as dates and make this a, an absolute reference. And then the next, there's a few optional parameters, seasonality, data completion, aggregation. So for our purpose here, um, I'll specify as the seasonality one year. So 12 periods and leave it at that. Um, so I could um, specify a few other parameters as well for how complete the data is. And if I want to aggregate, um, in our case, we won't need this. So I leave them empty and just type enter here. So now I can see the first estimate here. And the only thing I have to do now is just drag this down. And I can see now I get my forecasting methods. What they're using here is, is conforming to our um, to a consistent convention in regards to how we're displaying data. We've got a, a fairly solid dark line for the actuals and then a, um, a more lighter uh, color for the forecast. So we've got another one line and we can see that the um, the seasonalities here are reflected in our forecast. And if I want to, I can now, with Ectaris, I can write this result now directly back to the database. So if I'm happy with this version, I want to save this in the forecast, I can just commit it. And now these data points will be written back to the database for everyone to access in a multi-user environment on a central server in the cloud or on-premise. So this has finished now. So we've, we've written back 15 um, results here. And now we can just recalculate. So here we see now the result of my forecast. So in we 
is a total of around 69,000. And that's a good result, but we can take this further now. When you're using Actaris, we can now change data points. For example, the August, because we know we have a new customer there to 10,000 and commit this to the database. So now we've committed this new total to the database and this is then available in all front ends. So not just in the spreadsheet, but everyone that's using the Actaris model in Power BI or on the web can see this result. And if we do a recalculation, we see then the updated result. So we see that our entry has brought up the total to 72,000. And with Sectaries, we can also now work on the total. So we can say uh, 72,000 is a little bit uh, low. We believe we can, this, we can take this higher to 75,000. And again, click on commit and write this change back to the database. And after refresh, we will see what is now the new total. This concludes this quick demonstration. So we have just shown how easy it is to create uh, an exponential smoothing forecast in Excel just with a new Excel function and some of the additional benefit that Actaris adds here. As usual, for any further questions, please feel free to send us an email or speak to our chat team on the website. Thank you very much.